If your iPhone keeps freezing and restarting itself, there are two main reasons for such behavior. The first one, especially if the freezes are accompanied by some kind of glitches and artifacts on the screen, is probably your iPhone or iPad experiencing some kind of hardware problem. Unfortunately, you will not be able to fix it yourself in most cases, and your phone or tablet will have to be replaced. If you are still inside your warranty, it should be a free replacement from Apple Store. That's a bad reason. The second good reason, especially if the freezes are accompanied by a rotating circle and then reboots, this is probably not a hardware issue, but a software issue, which could be easily fixed. Apple is notorious for releasing badly tested software updates, and the bugs in the software updates can and do cause these reboot loops. That happened in 2019, in 2016, and one of the most notorious incidents happened on 2nd December 2017. Apple released iOS 11.1, and as soon as date was changed to 2nd December 2017, or any later day after December 2nd 2017, iPhones and iPads running that 11.1 firmware started to experience spontaneous reboots. Apple quite promptly addressed that issue and released a second update, that was 11.2, that fixed this reboot issue. So the first thing you should try is update your iPhone or iPad through settings of the device itself, if you still can access them. If not, you can use your computer to do that. Connect your iPhone or iPad with a USB cable to a computer. If you happen to have an Apple computer running Mac OS version 10.5 or later, you can use the Finder app to update firmware on a connected iPhone or iPad. On all the rest operating systems, including Windows, you have to use iTunes to update the firmware of your iPad or iPhone. If the problem is not the buggy software update, then probably your iPhone or iPad just require an old good hardware restart. Hard restart is different from hard reset. When you hard reset, or another name for that is factory reset your iPhone and iPad, you lose all your data and will probably require to either reconfigure everything again or download some backup from iCloud or whatever. Hard restart is just that. It's a hard restart of the software on your phone. You shouldn't lose any data like photos or music on your phone while doing a hard restart. Hard restart is also a little bit different from shutdown. And hard restart is usually done by pressing buttons. On older iPads and iPhones that happen to have home button, you have to press and hold power button and the home button for at least 10 seconds, until the phone displays the Apple logo and shuts off. On newer models that lack the home button, you have to press either volume up or volume down, that doesn't matter, and power button simultaneously for at least 10 seconds until the phone shuts down. In most cases, you don't have to swipe the screen to shut off your phone. While the phone is turned off, use the USB cable to connect your phone to your computer with iTunes running. After that, your iPhone or iPad should spring back to life and the freezing and unwanted reboots should cease. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.